Mm-hmm. Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Earlier this week, we talked about Lizzo taking a break from Twitter. And the baby mm. jumped on social media, breaking his boom, silence boom, on the boom, rumors boom, about boom, his arrest, boom. saying his social media wasn't so lucrative <laughs> in the business. I wouldn't even be on it. <laughs> lost souls influenced by lost souls. Mm. That is true. <laughs> and the baby makes a good point. I wish I. <laughs> social media is a great business tool. I'm currently using it to promote my album. I'm well, going to continue. Well, there is a point where it becomes toxic yeah. and you need to take a digital detox. Yeah. Yeah. What, what do you guys think about that? I don't think it's a bad idea. Um, I have yet to do that because I have so many other tools that aid and assist me on mm-hmm. social media, like block, oh, delete, hello yes. somebody. restrict. So I haven't done it yet, you know, but I, I will agree with the baby. There are a lot of people who are extremely critical mm-hmm. um, when it comes down to social media. I mean, they get like a social media courage, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And they say so many evil, I mean, just demonic, nasty, yeah. heinous things. Mm-hmm. That if they saw you on the street? Oh, hey! <laughs> Then we get that's that. That's how they do. And wow. that's how they do. Wow. That's exactly how they do you. Yeah. There's a, oh, no, go, go ahead. Go ahead, Lena. Lena. Um, just, I was just, just going to say, it's just the entitlement piece mm. is what is dangerous. It mm. has become dangerous. Um, I think that social media was something, you know, I remember MySpace, it mm. started off very fun, a good way to network, which is still an amazing tool mm-hmm. for networking, yes. promotion. Um, it gives you freedom to be able to take control of how, what, of what you're selling, of being an entrepreneur. Mm. Like there are so many awesome things, but then there's the mental illness piece that we don't take into consideration. There are a lot of people who have mental illness. And so instead of having to show their face and spew their hate, this is a wonderful way where they can hate you without having to be responsible for what they've done. Mm -hmm. And I think the entitlement piece, what I was talking about in the top, the reason why it's so dangerous is because when you're able to connect with your fans, you know, and, and in this instance, fans, or people that admire you and what you're doing, they feel that now, you're entitled to me. So because I follow you on these social media outlets, when I see you out in public, I'm, you're supposed to say something to me. And I don't care if you're eating. And I don't care if you're eating or on the phone or anything. And I'll tell you, very quick story. Um, and this is Nikki Gilbert. She told me, um, right when we were getting ready to start R&B Divas, there was a person on Instagram that was following her, following me, and, you know, a good friend, like, on the, on the Instagram, like, just an Instagram friend, you know, says all kind of nice things. But... When he saw her in a grocery store, he runs up to her and he says his handle name. Hey, it's such and such, remember? Remember me? And she was nervous because you ran up on her. Mm -hmm. She had never really seen you like that, you know, in person. And then you ran up on her because you thought, because you have conversations on social media, that you all were somehow connected and friends. Mm -hmm. That's very dangerous. Just because you communicate with someone through social media doesn't mean you know what who they really are. They could be <laughs> serial killers, and we wouldn't even know. Right. I, I think um, I think as far as a detox is concerned, I think it's really it's, it's good from time mm-hmm. to time to be able to just say, you know what? Let me not let that not be the first thing I do. Yes. Get up my phone and see what happened yeah. on Instagram. So I'm looking forward to. I usually take the last time I took a break was literally right before Nipsey Hussle passed away. Mm-hmm. I was taking a break, and I was so glad that I had done that because it was nothing. But but, you know, you're, you're bombarded with seeing his pictures. And you guys know I'm very, very sensitive. So I yeah. start living people's lives who right. have lost it, like lo- lost people. And it, it's too much for me. So that was the last time I did one. So I think in the new year to renew yourself mm-hmm. so that you're not addicted. Because there is an addiction to yes, social media yes, yes. Um, that we, we a lot of us deal with. And it's you, you think you don't have it, but that, like, okay, let me see what they talk about on Twitter. Let me see what they talk about on mm-hmm. Instagram. I don't want to be addicted to it. So I just recalibrate my mind yes, every yeah. now and mm-hmm. then and take a week or so off. And it's time for one now. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. I, I agree wholeheartedly. <coughs> uh, the thing is, sometimes you just need to, like we do a, a physical detox, mm-hmm. sometimes we can do a mental detox. Yeah. Yeah. So when you take in all these ideas and, and all these opinions of other people, you got to release yourself from it. Mm-hmm. So it's really important to just take some time out and give yourself space from that. And I think when you say digital, I think television too. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. you just get bombarded with just death and despair yes. Yes. all the that's, time that's on the it. news. You know? Yeah, yeah. Uh, and you, know, politics. you just, you, you just yeah. need to refresh yourself. You yeah. need to cleanse your mind mm-hmm. from all of the outside static, and, mm-hmm. and that includes social media. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, I, and, and that's where I was 
talking about what I was saying because it can become dangerous. Yeah. It mm -hmm. can become detrimental to harmful to you on the outside and yeah. on the inside. Yeah. So yes, I do think you should take a break, but I think you should take breaks inside of the times you're not taking breaks. What do you mean? So like, like how, like for instance, like how I do. You know, like sometimes it, it might take me two, three days before I post. You or, know, or, mm -hmm. I know weeks, <coughs> or yeah. or sometimes <laughs> even weeks. I gotta, mm -hmm. I gotta, be, and it's not for not me. Not an intentional break. It's just right. I, I don't have to. Be I don't always. allow it to control yeah. me. Right. Don't. It's you what do a great I'm saying. Job. I'm not consumed with. I, uh, trust me, people. I am not consumed with social media. If we are out together, then I am out with you. Mm -hmm. I am out with the ones that I have chosen to be out with. Mm -hmm. Every five minutes, I'm not doing it for Instagram. I'm not doing it for Facebook. Oh, let's take this picture, and we we completely get so wrapped up in the, in, in the picture and in the, the posting that we lose the moment. Yes. So sometimes, yes. often, I, I I think the last time I probably posted now has probably been two days. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just and 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 it's not five posts a day. I might hit you with one post and I'm okay with that. You know, mm -hmm. but I think people are racing for followers. So they're constantly feeling like I have to put content out there. Mm -hmm. And sometimes it's, you don't see that this is actually consuming and taking full control over your life and your mm -hmm. being. Mm -hmm. And as Selena said, I completely agree. It is dangerous. dangerous. Yeah. And if you're a professional, it's sometimes better to have people that work for you to uh -huh. actually post on your behalf. That's good. So that you can protect your sanity while you're trying to work and focus. Yeah. And just little breaks in between, you know, like not letting it control you. And maybe you could do like exercises with your girlfriends and be like, all right, y'all, we're going to have a girls, girls day, but we're not going to use our phones. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, we're going to go to the gym. Let's just talk at the gym. We're going to turn our phones off or something mm -hmm. like that. Yeah. Because yeah. I hate going out with people and their phones. I oh, I know. When they're they're she'll, here. Like, she'll call you out. Like, oh, we're going we're gonna to do that. You're going to just have your phone out. Yeah, I call people out all the time. You can see them in the club. I went to a club. Oh, I know we got to go. I uh, went to a club last week. We were celebrating uh, a friend of mine who got a new job. And I looked around the club and everybody was like on this. On phone. Yeah. It's like, y'all don't want to dance? No dancing. No dancing. No dancing. No dance no we want to hear how you feel. Especially so if they played the baby. I'm sure she would. <laughs> 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 all right. Uh, let us know how you feel uh, because uh, we'd love to hear what you have to say.